Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use auto attacks in RPG Builder. Auto attacks were actually implemented a while ago, but they never really got finished. I just kind of left them um, the way they were and focused on other things. But now, you know, it's uh, something requested a lot, obviously, and it's something that is very important to um, most RPG games. So I decided to spend some time today to work on them. So before even getting started, I also added a, a tap target um, feature. So for those who are not familiar with that, is uh, basically just a function that lets you um, spam the tab key um, from your keyboard to you know switch from uh, the different potential targets in front of you. It makes it very easy to uh, in combat to quickly switch targets uh, instead of having to click on them. The second change I made is, as you can see now, um, we can left click and target a target. This was already a thing before, of course, but before it was also automatically uh, making you attack them or rather, you know, kind of triggering the auto attack um, combat event. So uh, that's not the case anymore. Now you can just left click for a uh, simple target and you can right click for target and also um, triggering the uh, auto attack action. So for example, if I would just left click on this one and come close enough to auto attack, it's not going to auto attack. But if I now right click it, it's going to start auto attacking. Great. So now you see that uh, I'm naked. I have no uh, armors, I have no weapons, and I'm still um, uh, having an auto attack going on. So uh, you might wonder where is this auto attack coming from? It's very simple. In RPG Builder, you have two types of auto attack. The first one is um, the one coming from the classes. So this is the pretty much number one auto attack from your character. So if we look at warrior here, the warrior class, if we go a bit down, we have the combat section and we have auto attack. And here you can assign uh, the auto attack ability of your choice that you created. And this is basically going to be your default auto attack when nothing else is overriding it. Now, talking about something overriding the class auto attack, well, it's pretty much working with items, right? So if we go to general and items and we look at the basic axe here, if we go a little down in the combat section also, you see that, of course, this weapon has an attack speed, minimum, maximum damage, and it also has a um, an auto attack field. And this is um, also letting you choose whatever auto attack ability you want, something you create, of course, and it's letting you assign it to it. So um, something important to know is that as soon as you equip a weapon, and if this weapon has an auto attack assigned to it, it's going to override your class one. So now you see that I equip the axe. Not only I'm doing more damage because you know now it's using the uh, weapon damage value, but on top of that, I'm also um, uh, you know using a new ability. It has its own animation and so on, and you have a lot of freedom on that. Um, auto attacks can not only you know be melee or something. If I give myself the uh, staff item, I think it's this one. Now you see I equip the staff and this staff, if we go in the editor, general staff, basic staff here, we see that we have another ability assigned to it and this ability is said to be a projectile. So um, that's also something else that I implemented today, which is targeted projectile as uh, an ability type. So if we look at the staff auto attack here, you see that this type of ability is now implemented. It was not before. It was already existing in the list, but just not implemented. And this is pretty much a projectile, but which is targeted to, um, well, your target, right? So it is kind of guided co going from you to the targets. And you have a few settings here. You have minimum, maximum range. You have the speed of the projectile. How many of those projectiles should be shot if they have a delay? And if it should be destroyed by the environment, if, for example, Let's say there was a rock in between the target and me. Should this projectile be destroyed or not? So that's up to you. You can choose here. And you can do some pretty cool stuff with that. For example, if we wanted, um, uh, I don't know, this projectile, instead of being just one, it could be like some kind of salve of projectile with a small delay. So you see now it's shooting like three projectiles in a row with a small like one point, um, you know, like a very short delay in between. And you can, of course, do this while working. And I also implemented a uh, line of sight, line of sight uh, mechanic or feature. So here you see that it is telling us we are not facing the target or the target is not in line of sight. And as I start rotating around, uh, it is going to let us 
attack it again. So now it should not uh, at let us attack again, and that's it. The angle at which um, you can attack is going to be possible to configure for you in the editor. So don't worry about this. If you think that this is too big and too uh, generous, you can you will be able to tweak it um, as you wish uh, in the editor. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for the auto attacks. Um, I just I guess the last thing is um, those, those fields here that you see on the weapons attack speed, minimum damage, and main maximum damage. Uh, are now they were already before so you could already see them but they were actually not doing anything now of course they are um, actually doing something and uh, for example here we have some gloves and they give us 25 um, attack speed and attack speed is a new stat that's coming with 1.0.3 version of rpg builder and each point in attack speed is going to give you one percent uh, faster attack speed this can also go lower so for example some enemies or you you could reduce the attack speed of the enemies um, but that's it so now if i equip it have the glove you see that it is going a little faster uh, for the auto attacks now this of course also works for you know any kind of um, auto attacks now for the melee one we're too far but if we come close enough we can start attacking and it just feels like you know pretty much exactly how you uh, think an auto attack system works so that's pretty much um, yeah i think that's it thank you for watching if you have any question as always let me know and see you in the next video